crafters welcome back to another episode of my crafty garage with me tanya i hope everybody is staying safe during these hard times and i hope that my crafty garage can bring a little positivity into your homes in this video we're going to be recreating the wagon wheel or carriage wheel uh, just by using some dollar tree items yeah that's a little crazy so like uh, let's get this thing started Okay crafters, to start you will need a hula hoop, empty ribbon roll, and dowels. Uh, you will have to remove the labeled part of the ribbon roll as that will act as your center and guide. I do suggest using a measuring tape to make sure that your center of the wheel is in the correct position and also to measure how much you're going to have to take off your dowels uh, so everything fits correctly. Once you have all your measurements, start marking your dowels and cutting them down to size. are cut, position them from the center to the inside rim of your hula hoop. Your dowels are what represent your spokes. This is what it should look like once all your dowels are in place. Next, Place a generous amount of hot glue to where your dowels meet in the center and place the other ribbon roll label to secure everything together and in place. Now that your spokes are put together, place them aside and start removing the sticker covering off your hula hoop. Complete, place your spokes back inside the hula hoop and start gluing the ends of the dowels to the rim of your hula hoop. crafters now that your wheel is no longer just a hula hoop and sticks let's start painting i mix three colors black burnt brown and gold but you can paint it any color you'd like i did end up using about two coats of acrylic paint um, just to get that full coverage this before if you want to speed up your drying process just pull out that hair dryer 
Okay guys, so now that my paint has dried, I'm going to coat it with some outdoor Mod Podge to give it some extra protection, just in case I decide I wanna hang this outside. is thicker than regular Mod Podge so using your hairdryer will help a little bit but I do suggest that you wait 20 to 30 minutes uh, before moving on to your next step. Once everything is dry it's time to decorate with some florals. I'm using silk flowers that I purchased at Dollar Tree. We have some zinnias, peonies and some dahlias. Um, before I glue anything down permanently I do like to place everything down and just kind of get a feel of how it will look and if I will like it or not. Um, that way we don't go through headaches afterwards of trying to rip everything apart to start all over again. Once I'm satisfied with the look, I start gluing my decorations down. I did decide to add a little cute lettering frame to it, but it's totally up to you how you want to decorate your wheel. I totally love how this turned out and I hope this inspires your creative side. Much love and thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. See y'all next time.